Hello, Applied English, and happy virtual day. Um, as we're here on Tuesday the 8th, juniors are coming into the building to take the ACT. As you guys know, today is a great day to wrap up your black history essays, or to finish typing and submitting your black history essays, I should, I should say. Um, once again, this is a virtual day. If you haven't said a prayer yet for uh, your learning today, I encourage you to pause this video now. Just say a quick prayer uh, before you continue this lesson video. Just going to give some reminders about how to finish up your black history essay today. All right, and we're here. We're back. As it says, uh, please watch through the essay reminders video below this agenda. That's what you're watching right now. There's really only three short reminders I want to give you in this video. One is how to access your essay, especially for those of you who may have fallen behind and need to uh, get started on typing today. I can uh, once again show that real briefly, how to get started. I'll also cover proofreading, just how you should uh, be revising and editing uh, your draft after you're done typing it. I will also splice in a small video from last year that covers how to turn essays in and turnitin.com. I'll get there in just a bit. Um, as it says, just after you watch this video, you have the rest of today to finish typing and proofreading your black history essay. I do want you to submit it in Schoology by the end of tonight. Please don't click the share button on your essay to send that to my email. I will ignore that. Uh, you will need to submit it in Schoology. Once again, end of tonight, 11.59 p.m. I do want to get started, keyword started, on grading essays tomorrow. I might grade five or six tomorrow, just to give you an idea on how quickly slash how slowly I can work through um, essay grading. Going back out to today's lesson folder, you'll see a couple things. A revising and editing checklist we'll look at in just a moment for proofreading. I do want to remind you real briefly how you can access your essay, especially for those of you who haven't started typing yet. The place to go to get your essay typed or to finish typing, if you need a little reminder, is the Milwaukee Lutheran webpage. We're going to go 0365 right here. Office 365 is where you have access to all your email, Microsoft Word, Excel, PowerPoint, just other technology that you may need to use for your classes. And we back. Sorry about that. My phone made me two-factor verified to get into my computer there. We're looking at Word right here on the left-hand side. Yours might be higher up than mine, but let's click Word. And once again, if you have already started your draft, you should find it right here in your recommended or your recent documents. If you need to start from scratch, go to New Blank Document right here so you can start typing out your full essay in Word. I did cover more of these specifics on uh, Friday, uh, February 25th, so if you need uh, just video help with getting started on your essay, check out the Friday the 25th video in Schoology or in YouTube, uh, Mr. Hantech MLHS, in order to get started on your document if you need some more help with that. But otherwise, this is where you'll access your essay once again. Once you're done typing your essay, you should proofread it. I'm going to click on revising and editing checklist real quick here. All right, cool. And what you have here is a document that just gives you a series of questions to ask yourself about your own essay. I highly recommend you do this in order to make sure your essay is as clean as possible before you submit it. Although you should know, I will give a couple of weeks to about a month for you to revise your essays after I'm done grading them. That's looking like after spring break at this point. Um, just some questions you can ask yourself once again. The first side is revising. So these are the ideas in your essay. It breaks into different parts of your essay. So for your introduction, do you have the three parts of an introduction there? Do they all work? Body paragraphs, does each body paragraph properly cite two or more pieces of evidence? I imagine a lot of you haven't uh, quite cited your sources yet, including your authors or article titles of where you found your direct quotes and paraphrases. That's something to look for in revising. Uh, do you have commentary that explains each piece of evidence and so on? There's also whole essay revision. So one thing to watch for as you proofread, do your ideas flow in a logical order or do topics, do paragraphs need to be reorganized into a, a way that makes sense? Are there any sections of your essay that are confusing or hard to read? That's something to watch for for yourself as you're finishing up today. The second part is editing. So this would be things like spelling, punctuation, sentence structure, subject verb agreement, and just those grammatical things we've been learning all year. These are, again, things for you to watch for. Um, I would recommend if you know you're not the strongest at proofreading, maybe have a sibling or a parent or a friend proofread your essay before you turn yours in. Uh, that might not be a bad idea for you, um, especially if you know that you don't quite have the trained eyes for proofreading your own stuff. Again, spelling, look for homophones like two, two, and two, there, there, and there. 
Uh, does each sentence end with an end mark? Something to watch for. So I know some of you have uh, some issues with run-on sentences in your writing. Um, some of these are things we haven't covered in, in full yet, like apostrophes we'll cover in just a little bit here. But those are things to watch out for as you are proofreading. Again, I recommend that you spend some time proofreading today. The only thing that it can do for your writing is make it even stronger as you're correcting uh, any errors that you made along the way. And the last thing is submitting your essay. You'll see Black History Essay Final Draft right here. My view is going to be a little different from yours. This will show me who has turned theirs in already in any of my classes. For you, you'll see a blue button in the middle that's titled uh, Upload Submission. I actually have an old video that demonstrates that step, so I will splice that in at the end of this one. So you have an idea on uh, how you can submit your essay as well. Once again, if you uh, need the, the steps to submit your essay once you're done, keep watching this video. Because I'm splicing in from an earlier year, this will be the point where I uh, say peace. I'll say later in just a moment here. Just want to give a couple of reminders before I do that. Um, one is that grade books are up to date. I know for some of you I checked in on some missing work yesterday in class. That has been updated in the grade book. So if you notice anything is still missing uh, or if you have a low grade on something, you'll want to take a look at that today. See what you can do to take care of that. I will try to be available in Microsoft Teams this afternoon. So if you have questions for me, you can reach out that way. So I can try to kind of help you on the fly as I'm working on other things this afternoon after the ACT. Another reminder I would give you is that if you are falling behind on your Black History essay, you should be coming to my office hours for the rest of this week so that I can help you uh, make the headway you need on your essay. I would much rather you put in the hard work now, um, spend some time outside of school catching up in this class, rather than uh, maybe having to face the consequences in June in summer school as we try to build up writing skills to get you ready for English 1. I love y'all, but I would rather see you much more now uh, then forcing you guys to see my smiling face early in the morning every weekday in June for summer school. So that's just my two cents there. Again, reach out to me this afternoon if you need my help today. Otherwise, uh, if you are struggling on this essay, I would expect to see you before and after school uh, pretty frequently these next couple of weeks as we catch you up. Peace. All right, we end this. Right now I'm Boston Allen. At least I'm viewing the course as Boston Allen. Just want to walk through the process of uploading a document through Turnitin. Um, if I was Boston, I'm ready to turn in my essay, and click Upload Submission. And then you have some options here. Now, upl regular upload is, download is uploading a file from your computer. We actually want cloud submission right here. OneDrive is the one that we use. It may or may not pull up uh, Boston's cloud storage here. I'm not sure. Right now, it's pulled up mine. So pretend like this is Boston's cloud right there. I've got my black history essay example. Notice that it's telling me that I updated it four minutes ago. So it just gives you an idea of finding the right document there. If I was Boston, I'd click this and click open. I'm not, I'm not gonna fully upload this one um, just so I don't mess with Boston stuff. It's gonna give uh, Boston a preview of his essay right here to make sure it's everything he wants. And he'll click submit to turn it in. From there, I think it's maybe one more blue button to fully submit, but that is how you'll turn in your essay for grading. Um, once, I've, once I've graded my way through essays, I will walk you through how to access my comments and feedback. Again, you'll have until the end of the semester to make any changes you like, up to 100% of what you missed.